Hey everybody, my name is Pete, and today I'm walking you through 12 keyboard shortcuts that can increase your speed with Excel formulas by 200%. Let's get started right now. So we're starting from the most simple to the most complex, and summing cells is one of the most simple operations you can do. So Alt-Enter sum cells quickly, and Excel's smart enough to know whether you wanna sum those cells vertically or horizontally. So there's a group of formulas that require a single cell as an input. So to start that, I'm gonna start typing the formula. And when I see it, I'm gonna arrow key down to it, and I'm gonna press the tab key to auto-complete that formula with an open parentheses. Now to jump over from my current cell to the data that I wanna analyze, I'm gonna press the control arrow key, and I'm gonna close parentheses. So there you go, keyboard shortcuts for simple, fast, single cell formula inputs. Before we go any further, I wanna draw your attention to the practice workbook linked to in the description. It's a great resource if you wanna go check it out and follow along, and let's get back to the video. Next, we're gonna cover a set of formulas that require a single range as input. And we're gonna use the average formula. So start typing that formula, arrow key down, tab to autocomplete, and control arrow to jump over to your data. Now to highlight this range of cells, I'm gonna press control shift and down arrow, which is gonna highlight the continuous range of cells in my data. And because I have a blank, I'm gonna to have to press down arrow a couple more times to highlight all of the cells in the range that I wanna get an average for. I'm gonna close that parentheses, press enter, and there you have it. There's another group of formulas that require multiple inputs to complete. I'm walking you through some ifs for a more complete list. Check out the link in the description. So we're gonna start typing the formula, arrow key down, tab key to autocomplete, control arrow key to jump over to the data. And in this instance, I'm gonna press control spacebar to, the, to highlight the entire column as the sum range. And I'm gonna press control spacebar to also highlight the entire criteria range. And lastly, I'm gonna make my criteria range selection over here and press enter. And this time we're gonna use shift and arrow key. So I'm gonna press shift and up arrow. And then I'm gonna press control D to fill down the formulas in the subsequent cells. So there you go, simple, easy shortcuts for some ifs. So now we're gonna take a look at the lookup functions like VLOOKUP. In this instance, I'm gonna use XLOOKUP. I'm gonna press the plus sign to start typing the formula and tab when I see it to autocomplete with that open parentheses. Next, I'm gonna select the lookup value, and I'm gonna do so by pressing the left arrow key to make that selection over here. In this instance, I'm gonna use the F4 key to apply a absolute reference to the formula, so I'm gonna press that three times, which means that lookup value will change as I drag the formula down, but won't change when I drag it left and right, and we'll see that in subsequent steps. I'm gonna press comma, control arrow key over here to make the lookup array selection, and do so using control shift down arrow. Similarly, I'm gonna press the F4 key in this instance just once, and that's gonna lock that lookup array in place. And now time for the return array. I'm gonna control arrow key over there, control shift arrow to make the selection. And here I'm gonna press the F4 key twice, which will allow that return array to shift left and right, but not up and down. And the remaining inputs can be entered manually on my own. In this instance, I'm gonna use shift and right arrow to highlight these cells and press control R to drag that formula over and then shift down arrow and control D to fill that formula down. If you inspect this formula, the lookup value did shift as I dragged the formula up and down, but not when I dragged it to the right. The lookup array remained static regardless of where I dragged the formula, and the return array moved to the left and right, but did not shift up and down. All right, lastly, I'm gonna show you keyboard shortcuts that let you make post hoc edits on formulas that already exist. I'm gonna do so on those X lookups that we just created. So to edit the active cell, press F2. And you can see here the cursor is all the way to the right of the formula. And I'm gonna press the home button to move that cursor to the beginning of the formula. And then I'm gonna arrow key over to the front of this XLOOKUP formula. And I'm gonna wrap the XLOOKUP in an if statement. So I'm gonna type if, and when I see it there, I'm gonna to tab to auto complete with an open parentheses. Now the logical test requires that I go back to the end of the formula and I'm gonna get there by pressing the end key to jump to the end of the formula. And the logical test that we're gonna apply is that if this X lookup is greater than 25, let's return a top tier client. And if it's not, let's call it middle tier. 
close parentheses and press enter. So there you have it. I recorded myself doing these formulas the traditional way with the mouse and with the keyboard shortcuts and on average the keyboard shortcuts were 200 percent faster and saved about 20 seconds per formula and that could mean two to ten minutes per week one to six hours saved per month five to 28 hours saved per year i know i could certainly use an extra 28 hours in my year Thanks so much for tuning in. Click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my videos. Press thumbs up if you learned something in this video. Let me know in the comments section what's your favorite keyboard shortcut and we'll see you next time.